Now, let's see if you relax your arm back up this way. Another alternative approach to looking at this tendon is to do this from the radial side of the arm. We can see his biceps clearly. And so what we'll do is we'll align the probe along the length of the biceps tendon. We'll begin at the lateral epicondyle. We'll then slide the probe forward, and we want enough depth, and let's put the focal zone down because this is going to be a deep structure in this case. And we'll continue to move it forward this way. And I'm going to position your arm slightly differently. Want your arm like this, that's good. And now, at the very deep side of the picture, this is the biceps tendon. And I'm going to come over a little further so we can see where it inserts or where it comes into the radial head. I'm going to give us another step of depth to make it a little easier to see. Bring the focal zone right down over that area. That's good right there. And I'm going to ask him to internally and externally rotate his hand, or pronate and supinate. That's good. Good. And you'll be able to see dynamically that tendon moving. This is a good way of being able to see the distal aspect of the biceps tendon. We're going to look at the common extensor tendon. So to do that, we'll palpate over the lateral epicondyle. In him, we can clearly see, if you would make a fist for me, we can clearly see how the muscles attach into this and form the common extensor tendon. Placing our thumb right where our patients usually complain, that peak region of pain, I'm going to place the probe so that the notch is to the proximal aspect of his arm, right over the lateral epicondyle. This is the lateral epicondyle and this is the common extensor tendon. Deep to that would be the radial collateral ligament, which can be very difficult to separate from the common extensor tendon. And to examine the extent of the tendon, we'll move the probe a little more medially or anteriorly and laterally or slightly posteriorly to see the full extent of the tendon in the long axis. As with other structures, we can also look at this tendon in its short axis here and follow it all the way to where it inserts upon the bone here.